Hello, Facebook. Come on, come on, come on, everybody. Let me see. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you? I keep forgetting it takes a minute for Facebook to get its act together. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Hannah. How are y'all? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. I'm going to try to do this I again. I don't know if I can remember what I did, but we're going to try. This is the eye. Not at all like the picture I uh, copied. <laughs> but you know what? It was a guideline, right? That's what we need to do. It's a guideline. It's a coloring in a color book. Hi, Peggy. How are you, Miss Hannah? How are you? Isn't that awesome about Brandon? My goodness. He hasn't got anything else to accomplish, does he, Hannah? He's done it all. My goodness. How are y'all? Okay. Of course, I am pressed for time as usual. i got to work again tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. If any of you guys are new, this is how it works. I'm blind as a bat. So... When I take my glasses off, that's it. I can barely see with my glasses because i got to get my eyes checked. But anyway, I always put my glasses back on and check back and forth, back and forth. And then if I miss your comments on this live, I will get you on the replay. I always answer and respond. Yes. Um, this is Marsha Holland, or Glam Mama. I like to be called on YouTube, Glam Mama. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And what I used today was, can you guess, my BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights. This is what I used. And now, if I can just remember, and I also used a little bit of Stila stuff. Stila glitter, Stila liquid. So we're going to see if I can remember what the heck I did, okay? All right, guys, here I go. Glasses off. My eye is sticking already. Okay, let's do the brow first, and I'm going to use, today I'm going to use this Benefits um, Brow Contour Pen. It's a little clicky pen. You've probably seen me use it before. Um, my question is, what the heck do you do when the little, when the stuff runs out? Is there refills for this little thing? I have no idea. I hope everybody's having a good day. This will be my third night out of three, so... All right, we're just going to give those brows a little brush. And then we're going to come along here and I'm just going to follow my natural brow. I usually start at the top, some start at the bottom. You do what's comfortable. My favorite thing is to use uh, my brow wax, but I do like to switch things around. Used to, I never used anything but a pencil until I discovered the brow wax. All right, so we're just going to short little strokes here. All the way down to the outer edge of my eye up that way. You want to remember if you have hooded eyes, you want to remember to keep everything going up and out, right? Don't think, don't bring things down. Up and out. Because our little gift of hooded eyes makes everything go down anyway, so we want things to go up. Gonna do that inside part right there, filling in. You've heard me complain about this, my brows are not alike. Don't know whose are, if, unless you have them professionally done. 
so. And then I just clean mine up with a Q-tip. You can clean it up with what they call carving. You can use concealers. You can use, you know, more foundation. Sorry, getting a phone call. Uh-oh. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, now we're just going to blend it in. I like to use my spoolie for that, though. I can find my spoolie. There it is. All right. I think I got that one not as dark as the other one. So see, it's almost. We're going to fill in a little more. May even be running out of this. Okay. Darken it up just a little bit. Clicky pen. Spoolies are wonderful for blending in the product. You want it to look as natural as possible. Get you a Q-tip. Go around the edges. Okay. Then, I already did the... Um, can't think what I'm going to say because I'm worried about that phone call. <laughs> Okay, I've already done the con the uh, primer and stuff on the eye, so I did that earlier when I was doing my makeup. So I'm going to use the white in this palette just as an overall base coat. Just going to go all over it. I don't know, psychologically it gives me a starting point, you know? You don't have to do this part. I used to dabble in painting a little bit, and so you always got your canvas prepared. So I guess that's where I'm getting that. It sticks in my head. Okay? Just, just a light coat. Now we're going to use the... Find my brown. I think that's it. Lure. I'm going to use this golden color here. This is all coming from the same palette. This right here. I'm going to put that on the brow. What are y'all up to today? <gasps> Sharon, I saw your palette. Are you excited? Now, my bone sticks up quite a bit. So, I am just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get in my crease with it, but I'm going to use my bone as the guideline. So, here we go. Using kind of an angled brush, just an old brush. Going to go all the way over. And when I want to get really detailed, I'm going to use the pointy side. Otherwise, I can just use the whole brush head. I'm going to come around to the outer edge. And then we'll be blending in just a minute. Okay. Just like that. Hi, everybody. Now, my next color was this liquid from Stila. I put that all over the lid. And it's kind of a shiny, as you can see here. I put it all over the lid and stopped at the crease with it. And, of course, I used glitter. This has to dry because it is a liquid. You can tap it or you can, you know, smooth it either way. See? It's the liquid. Stila. All right, so I'm going to let that dry just a teeny bit. And I'm going to go back in there with some pretty purple. Always got to have purple. Purple, purple. I love purple. But it does have to dry. This does. Their liquid glitter has to dry too. But it's not bad. Okay. Now we're going to get a fluffy brush. And I'm going to do some purple. 
We're going to do that right in the corner here. And then kind of up on the bone a little bit. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a minute. Okay. Losing my train of thought. Here we go. I'm just going to smooth it as I go a little bit. Try my best to remember what the heck I did. Coming on down. Your main goal is you don't want a separation from here to here. So you want to kind of blend that. And then I went in with some blue. Go ahead and blend that just a wee bit right there. Okay. Now let's go in with some blue. We're going to use this turquoise blue. It's a pretty blue. I think I just went right in the corner with it. Just because this stuff is really pigmented this BH cosmetic stuff went on under here and I'm gonna come with this dark blue up here and go under under the lower lash line, about halfway over. I'm getting there. And then I'll use some of that turquoise again up here. But wait, 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 wait. I think I did the glitter first. Let me let me get my act together here. Hope y'all are having a good day. And what I did with it is I just tapped it. Because remember, I have to go to work, so it can't be too wild and crazy. It's going to make it just shimmery enough. Going all over the purple. And tapping, I'm not rubbing. It's fun to paint. Fun to paint. You probably can't see it glisten, but I can. I can. Okay, let's put a little more blue on it now. That probably needs to uh, dry a little bit too. This time, I'm going to use the darker blue to kind of go over that. I know you're probably thinking, what are you doing that for? You need to put the glitter on last, but no. Not this time. Come on up here with it. This is the dark blue. On around. Then we're going to take that turquoise blue and blend it in too. Using the same brush. Right in my crease. Okay. Now I'm going to get my brow highlighter and I'm going to go right smack dab in the middle. Right smack dab in the middle. Look at that. See, ooh, see that? Ooh, I better do this one. It's like painting. Ooh, 
Ooh, I got some of my lashes. These lashes I'm using, I used the same ones yesterday. These are those, um, I told you about them. They're those clusters from Salon Perfect. <laughs> All right, now we'll blend it, we'll blend it, we'll blend it. And then we're going to do some eyeliner. No rough edges. No rough edges allowed. Look at that. I got powder, this this uh, eyebrow stuff on my lash. Can you see it? <laughs> ah! We'll fix that. We'll fix that. I'll look at your comments, okay? I don't usually put mascara on my um, false eyelashes. They say if you put mascara on your false eyelashes, they don't, they may not last as long. Okay, so then I took a white pencil, did my tear line. You know this stuff lasts all night long. It will still be on when I get on when I get home from work. Today for my eyeliner, I use this Milani number three. And let me see if I can get this is awkward. I'm gonna put the glue on my lash and then we'll be it. Alright, let me get my act together. Gonna go on around that lash line here, the lower lash line. I don't know what I do with that Q-tips. I'm going to use this as the actual liner too. Very smooth. The teal blue. Instead of black, I traditionally use black. Ah. Y'all ready to chit chat? I like to smooth it out and kind of blend it. When you're, when you get older, it's harder to do the that smooth liquid line. It's harder to do that with this kind of this kind of face, you know. Okay, so now I'm ready to do some mascara. Still see some stuff up there. What the heck? Right there on the tip. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, here comes the mascara. Typically, I do my mascara first. I've seen it done several ways. I'm only going to do one coat, one good coat. I think I need to put, oh, I forgot, I forgot something. Hang on. <gasps> Hang on. more <laughs> I love that oh, I love that glittery 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 who invented glitter for crying out loud okay here is something I discovered I've been using um, some red aspen glue it was gifted to me, and so I've been using it. And you know what I'm discovering? That it peels off so much easier. I mean, you can, it peels off. You can, if you grab it just right, you can get the almost a whole strip of glue off. That is awesome because let me tell you what cleaning these lashes, it's time consuming. 
How many of you clean your lashes? Or do you just re-glue them and re-glue them until you don't want to re-glue them anymore? And then throw them out. I try to at least pick the glue off. But let me tell you, it's hard sometimes. Before I got this glue, I always used Kiss Latex Free with aloe vera. Got it at Walmart. I've seen it everywhere. And you know, I like it. it. It does good. But I never noticed it doing this. You know, peeling off easier. Let me let that dry. Or get tacky, I mean. I'm going to touch up my lips. Today's color is brought to you by Gerard Cosmetics. And it is called, I just had it in my hand. Get it again. I should have left it out. Or maybe I did leave it out. Nope. It is called, you're not going to believe the name of this thing. It's called Fuzzy Navel. Fuzzy Navel. It's so funny. And, oh, that's not it. <sighs> you know, I guess if you guys have any complaints about me at all, it's if you would want me to make sure I have everything out before I get started, right? <laughs> Shoot. Where are you, Fuzzy? It's ridiculous now. I'm going to use something else if you don't pop up real quick. You'll be jealous. There it is. I found it. Look at this. It's a metal mat. Watch. It goes on real creamy. And it dries to a mat. Fuzzy navel. I think I like it just because the name. That is so silly. Fuzzy navel. <laughs> Let me look. Thank you, Miss Gail. Hey, Ariel. Thank you, Miss Jenny. Hi, Mixie. Boy, I've been seeing some awesome pictures of you, Missy. Missy. Mixy. With those uh, beautiful sayings and things on them. I love those. Hey, Jasmine. Christina. Peggy. How are you, girl? Hi, Kara. Gail. Hello. Is it Rosie or Rossi? R-O-S-S-Y. Rosie. That's so cute. Cute. Alexandria. It's an exotic name, Alexandria. I love it. Sienna. Melissa. Amy. Melissa Lynn. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming. Hi, Angela. Carissa. Hi, girl. Nita. Am I am I killing y'all's names? Eda. Eden. Eden. Eda. Eden. <laughs> Eden. Where you been, girl? Diana, Misty, Rainbow Station Eyes. You are unique. You know it? I was glancing at your uh, page. Pretty different. All right, I think my eyelash is ready, so let's pick it up here. Hi, Erin, LaDonna, Judith. Hey, girls. You betcha, Ariel. Okay. You know, it's so weird. Years and years and years. In fact, all the way up to just less than a year ago, I never wore eyelashes. Now, it's like, it's part of me for crying out loud. I guess that's what the industry wants. They want you to get hooked on them. I think I don't look, I don't look right if I don't have lashes on now. How weird is that? Anyway, here's this little tool by Ardell. And I put my lash right in the middle. And then I'm going to go down... Look down into a mirror, and then I'm going to hold it up, and I'm going to land on the eye, on the uh, liner that I put on there. That's my guideline, and then I'm just going to set it on there, kind of lift my hand up just a little, land on that um, liner, and then take one end, 
got globs of glue on this one. Wasn't paying attention. But don't worry, it, it does dry clear. Did I see some blobs? I wasn't paying attention. So once I get it on there, then I just take my finger and I want to push it a little more. Another little trick. Go to Applebee's, get a sandwich, get their toothpicks. And, and it has a little rounded edge, see? But you got to still be careful. Kind of tap it. Now this glue is a real pretty kind of a bluish color but it does dry clear and then I kind of come along and push it up just like oops sometimes it's hard for me to tell if I got the end on there right what I'll probably do with that one, because I see it's down a little bit, which I don't like that. So what I will probably do is camouflage that a little bit with some eyeliner. You learn all the tricks, guys. You learn all the tricks. What else can we do? Uh, what else have I got? Let's see. Stuff. I don't know where to start. I got a bunch of this stuff from uh, that Hush order I got. This is AJ Cosmetics called Liquid Gold. I've used used it yesterday, but let me let me look at it again. It's it's a lip gloss, but it's really strange. That is gold, boy. Let me look. I like a. Oh, look at that one. That one is called, I think I'll do it just for the heck of it. That one is called Trust Fun. Ooh, I like that. So we're going to go Trust Fun. Funny, funny. Let's do some Trust Fun. See what happens on top of my, on top of my fuzzy navel. Go on the inside first. I absolutely love matte lipsticks, but I also like for it to be more creamy. And just know, if you do what I'm doing right now, the long-lasting lipstick won't last as long as it says it will because you're messing with it, see? Hey, I'm inventing something here. Mm-hmm. Yes. That made it perfect. Okay, guys. Anybody got any questions? Now's the time. Hi, Bianca. <laughs> I got lots of little tricks under my little sleeve. I'm always looking out for stuff like that. Little tricks. You're welcome, Miss Bianca. Anybody have any questions? Hi, Maggie. If you're brand new here, say you're new. Everybody will welcome you. Share, share, share. You know, that's how that's how you get these old folks out there. Share. Makeup is not just for the young. So if you know someone that you think they might enjoy makeup, but they think they're too old, oh my gosh. Shake them. Mm -mm. I don't have anything on here that says for young only. Have fun with it. It's therapy. You know? Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Jamie. Rosa. Hi, everybody. Well, anybody have any questions for me? I don't think I missed anything. Possible. Well, I got to go pack my lunch, get ready for work again. Hi, Jamie. Thank you for coming to visit. I'll put this video on my YouTube, Glam Mama, okay? I love you guys. 
check you guys later. It's been fun. Stay happy. Bye.